I want head movement like Canelo Alvarez. And for context, this is where I'm at now. Yikes. I'd imagine trying to hit him is like trying to catch a little bitty fish at the very bottom of the ocean and you're on top of a kayak with one of the little superhero Walmart fishing rods. I want to be that fish. So that's where this video comes in. Seven days to try and get head movement like Canelo Alvarez. Oh, one last thing at the end of it. I'm gonna test myself by trying not to get punched in the head. Okay, so last... <sighs> I don't know if you guys do this, but last night I stayed up till like 2 a.m. on YouTube watching Canelo Alvarez head movement. Day one, I'm going to research through tape, through the drills that he does. I wanna get deep into Canelo Alvarez's head movement. A lot of people ask about like how to make their head movement better. No, this is what I was looking for. Yeah, you're at least, you're at least chef. lots of chefs, nothing landed, however. Maybe I should start with something else. If you watch this live, you'd be like, oh, maybe he's guessing? Because you want to just believe that like, how do you do that on purpose? What am I doing with my life? Making this video, Seth. After about 30 minutes of watching Canelo make people look silly, I realized that it came down to four or five different things that we were gonna have to implement throughout the week. In his stance itself, he's leaning forwards. It's something Canelo is known for, is his head's kind of like in it. Canelo's probably doing crazy research. It's clear that this guy's using his front hand a lot. Probably a bit of intuition to know that the uppercut is gonna come when you're down there, right? Boom, he sees it, and now he's like, okay. So he explodes up, boom, and he gets out of range. Sees everything. He sees this, and whoop, doof. That's crazy. So knowing everything we know, really the last one's kind of simple. Coach Lucas, Jawbreaker Boxing. Um, I want head movement like Canelo Alvarez. Me too. <laughs> I want it in one week. I came to Coach Lucas to see if he could help me out with some of the drills that I had seen Canelo doing in my research. All right, so this is the maze bag or slip bag, is usually what I call it. It's hard. See, it's solid. So this is just a swinging tool to work on tightening your head movement. All tiny things. In your stance too, right? With your hands up in a good base, sitting in that saddle, feet in the right position. Under it, give it a push. And I can go right, go left, I can go down and up. Goal is to just try to move just enough to make it miss. And you can give it a little bit more of a push, right? Yep. So you get, it's kind of, you know, it's training wheel version. The more you push it, the more time you have and you're feeling. Not bad, uh -huh. And it's heavy, right? Oh, a little thump on it. At this point, I'm not feeling super confident. Uh, that thump will be amplified by 10 by the people I spar at the end. Sad though. Think about it, this is like it's a straight punch coming at you. Okay. And you're moving either towards your opponent or away from your opponent. And I have them work the outside of the ring and as they shuffle around to it, yeah. I'm gonna add oh, that okay. to it. So they're yeah, working yeah. outside, shadow boxing here. So while working, you're moving. Working in provision. They're not oh, getting close cool. to it and then looking at it. Yeah. And going yeah, under yeah. they got a sense where it is. Multiple movements, you're making them miss multiple punches at a time. Good, good. Now the very first one you saw, he kind of yeah. popped up a little bit higher. Yeah. Then went back under and kept it lower. I would say do that for all of them. But you go in there and pull, pull. Hey, not bad. Say the box. How much of Canelo Alvarez's head movement is attributed to making people punch where his head was before? I think that's when you've boxed as long as he has. You know, what do you go pro at 15 years old in Mexico, all the fights he's had? Yeah. I think, yes, I think you're onto something, but I don't think he's necessarily thinking That's about the it that only way. Thing. Okay, yeah. Out of noodles, at least the way we're doing it now, is very choreographed. Jab, slip, go across, slip. That hook comes after that cross, you roll. Yeah. So and then we speed it up a little bit with the noodles. That's right, that's right, and you uh, see how easy it uh. is. Now, this is only day two in this head movement process, but this is also the closest that I've had to punches being thrown in my head while working on my head movement. Um, it is not feeling natural at all. So I'm starting to think that maybe we should go a little bit easier. Right. Don't get hit. Oh, never mind. Real basic, one or two punches, right. Exactly, oh, definitely. Woo, gotcha. either. And at the same time, keep your eyes open. See him catch you? All right, you see, hey, there we go. That's something, whatever works. Shoot the jab right here. Gee, good jab. Good, now, good, yeah. Now, this is the point that I say, you got a long sleeve shirt or a hoodie? No? Yeah. All right, well, we're going to the bag. I don't like getting sweat thrown on me my whole mess. <laughs> That's fair enough. You guys have that course up 
Jumper conversion? Yeah, it's, yep. totally, it's totally free now, cool. too. It's oh, just, really? Yeah. Oh, so that's cool. It's, you it's just upload. There's like 29 workouts up there, other videos and stuff, like technical videos of the basics. Make sure you guys check that out. I mean, honestly, it'd, it'd be kind of silly if you didn't. <laughs> okay, so this is going to be much harder than I expected. Uh, I feel like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm going to need to do. Um, so first and foremost, slip bag boxing. Okay, so technically day three. Day three was a lot of drilling. I didn't have anybody hit me in the head with a noodle, so I kind of had to hit myself in the head with a noodle, metaphorically speaking. That's where you get in trouble is when you get stuck. One of the big factors was that Canelo sees everything, which means he has to keep his eyes open all the time. Ah, I was right in the schnoz, right in the sniffer. Eyes open, Seth. By keeping my eyes open and having this level of focus, it means that nothing can break through and stop my training, can stop what I'm on a mission. There's nothing that can- Oh, it's actually the Amazon guy. Hold on. I'm pretty sure this is the, the maze bag. The only issue is, um, it's not like Spider-Man where I can just and connect to nothing. But quit eating grass. After that, I shadow box myself inside of a box in a mirror like Coach Lucas told me to. Then I let my fiance whip wiffle balls in my head from about five feet away. You gotta zing this puppy. I don't want it to hurt. Yeah, it won't hit me in the head. Okay. You gotta try and hit me in the head though. No, really. <laughs> trying, I gotta, I gotta keep my eyes open. This video is brought to you by Hayabusa. Yeah, I'm gonna pick a number between one and 12. Go. Four, Seven, three, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, five. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go. You're gonna put one of these on. I'm gonna do my ad read. You are allowed to body shot me. If you can stop me from doing the ad read, oh. you will get a pair of gloves. Oh, Brand new gloves. Technically, nobody has these yet. Okay. I have to tell you to do this? No, but hopefully, oh, no. hopefully they're cool with it. <laughs> One, two, three, go. This video is brought to you by Hayabusa. This is the new olive green T3 Campec. And if you go to HayabusaFight.com slash Sensei Sen, you can get a pair of your own. Blossom pink walnut. Uh, 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 I don't think I have anything left. Oh. All right, this is round two. There was a little bit that I left out. Hayabusa has triple wrist protection, which means they have two things of uh, Velcro that you can tighten it up with, but it also has a wrist backing. Oh, that was hard, but you got it. Uh, <laughs> oh, you got it. It's got the backing on the wrist so you can't bend it. Did that hurt you at all? No, these gloves are really good. He, no, no wrist wraps on, no hand wraps. He was able to do all that. On a serious note, Hayabusa gloves are fantastic. They look amazing. They feel so good on your hands. They're built to last. I highly recommend them. Here, here. Uh, Hayabusafight.com slash Sensei Seth. You'll get your gloves, sir. Thank you so much. Back to the video. Day four really tested my spirit, but not like in a physical way. More in like a, I couldn't get the bag down. Yeah. How does anybody do this and actually look cool? I can see how this gets boring, but I feel like it's just a reps thing. And being that I only have a week, I do have to kind of finesse and really understand the technique before I'm gonna spar and use this. So the question is, are the skills that it takes to be able to not get hit in the head by this getting better? Or am I getting better at this drill? I feel like I'm getting the swing of it a little bit. The swing! Throughout the week I was still teaching and taking classes, however, they're kickboxing, Muay Thai, or Karate. Which means that you don't use head movement as much, mostly because of the threat of being kicked or kneed in the head. <laughs> okay, so I actually have a ton of editing that I have to do today, so instead of driving 40 minutes to the gym, working out and then driving 40 minutes back. I'm just gonna VR box. I'm gonna work on my head movement in the meta. If you think about it, virtual reality is essentially reality. 
but virtual. So if I can be good in here, I can be just as good in real life. I'm essentially Canelo. In this world, I'm untouchable. And to be a little more realistic, confidence is super important in your head movement. So the confidence of not getting hit at all uh, helps a lot. I mean, just look at that confidence. While granted this isn't the best drilling that I could be doing on this day, uh, at home it's much better than nothing. And I'll be honest, that that was on the table. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's easy. Okay, well all things considered in the meta, I'd say I am Canelo. I'd say I am Canelo. Okay, uh, I believe we are on day six which will be more slip bag. That was loud. So tomorrow's the day that I put this all to the test. I do feel like stressing the importance of the head movement has helped me a bit. Um, uh, I, was, I was not right in that ear hole. All I hear is just beep. My rolling from hooks is definitely getting worse. Anything where I have to roll and really change levels is so foreign to me. The question is, how much will it translate to uh, being able to do it with actual punches that I don't know the pattern of? That worries me a bit. Because the one thing that I haven't been able to work with is a person. And you know what sucks the most about this? I even bought pool noodles. Do you know how hard it is to find pool noodles in spring? They're not in stores yet. Why would they be? Honestly, I mean, it makes sense, but... Other than, you know, shadow boxing, mitt work, other useful drills, well, there's one last test to decide if I will be successful or not. We'll see. Why not, right? Did I hit my... Ah. <laughs> Oh, I'm killing it. I haven't gotten hit once. Oh, I felt it. Oh, there it goes. I would say I'm an expert now. Tomorrow, we will see how this works. Did seven days of strictly focusing on head movement help me at all? Am I Canelo Alvarez? Is it payday? Payday, you want payday? I know that. I think a large portion of this is going to be having confidence in moving my head. If I get stung a few times, my head movement's probably gonna be pretty bad. But if I can slip the first few, I feel like I'm gonna have so much more confidence in what I'm doing that I'll feel more flowy. Which being loose and mobile rather than stiff and worried is so important for this kind of thing. We'll see. Here we are, seven days of training and it is testing day. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm at this point pretty nervous. Not only because I very well could get punched in the face a bunch in the next hour or so, but also I'm like mentally super invested in this at this point. I want to do well. Now, while we're doing this, we're gonna be keeping an eye out for some of the key attributes that make for better head movement. Things like good balance, reading opponents, knowing your range, seeing everything, and then just overall, I guess, being better. Right off the bat, the vibes are phenomenal. I feel good, I'm slipping, I'm moving around, I'm not getting touched by much. Me and my buddy here are overall having a good time. But for every cool thing I do, I get a couple of these. But I'm sure that won't be a theme. Right? Very quickly, I'm starting to pick up on the fact that if you have a long range, you use it. It doesn't really make sense for a taller guy to use head movement on somebody whose range is more comfortable closer. Oh, nice. You good? No, you're good. I was way harder oh, than good, man. You're good. That's why I was blocking on my face. Also, if it's not clear yet, I asked these guys to go boxing rounds with me. 
This type of head movement is designed for strikes with the hands only. Kicks and knees kind of hurt when you lean into them. I feel like you're more defensive in this room, more on the shoulders and the ankles. But I, was try I was trying to go lots of head movement. It sucked. I was not good at it. But... Not fun. No. Yeah. Very hard. As you can see here, when I try and over-exaggerate the head movement, I get stuck. I kind of like have to sit in the same spot. And I get punched. So I had to make an adjustment. Get longer, see more things, pick up more patterns. I'm still not like feeling phenomenal here. I don't feel like my head movement is doing anything crazy. I'm trying more stuff, but I'm not like being proficient at it. Great example, over exaggeration. I didn't need to do that. Here I slipped too hard and ran right into a two. And I feel like this last clip is a good summary of how this whole test went. Initially, you're probably thinking, Seth, that was sick, you slipped, you threw a punch. But I was off balance, it was an arm punch. Uh, I did it, but like, eh. So the question is, did I get Canelo Alvarez's head movement? And it's such a, it's a, it's such a hard question to answer because like, I guess not.